This is Unit 1, Topic 6, Working with DB2 Commits. Hello, and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. This topic will discuss different techniques to implement ARC into programs that already contain DB2 commit logic. Many batch DB2 application programs already contain commit calls. ARC provides support for DB2 commit calls, so there is no reason to remove them or to recode the application. First, let's cover the basics of DB2 commit processing. The application developer must choose whether the program will run under the control of IMS or will run natively within DB2, typically under the batch program IKJEFT01. When batch DB2 programs run under the IMS control program DFSRRC00, they must use IMS format checkpoint calls and are not allowed to issue a native commit call. However, programs running outside the control of IMS would issue a DB2 SQL commit call. This discussion will focus on those programs running in a non-IMS environment and already contain DB2 commit calls in their logic. When a program issues a DB2 commit, all updates are physically logged, buffers are flushed to hardened data to DASD, and any held locks are released. DB2 commits are not considered to be a restartable entity because the scope is too narrow. The commit only focuses on DB2 elements. Additional supporting code must be added to provide a restart capability. This supporting code may either be custom built into the application or supplied externally by a checkpoint restart product such as ARC. Let's talk about the ARC support options that are provided when programs already contain DB2 commits. ARC supports programs that already contain SQL formatted commit calls. When ARC detects a commit call, it will be dynamically converted into an ARC checkpoint call. This means that programs that are already containing commit calls can leave them in their program. ARC does require that the program issue an ARC restart call. This call is generally issued at the top of the COBOL procedure division. The call can be inserted dynamically by using the auto restart function of ARC or it can be manually inserted into the program logic by an explicit call to ARC restart. When a commit is intercepted, an ARC checkpoint call will be automatically issued on behalf of the program by ARC. The ARC checkpoint call has a larger scope than the native DB2 commit as ARC will automatically manage any flat files in the program. Additionally, ARC will capture the program storage that was identified on the ARC restart call. Any logic in the program to reposition the DB2 cursor will remain unaffected. In order to make a program restartable, the ARC restart call must be issued before any actual program logic gets underway. From the perspective of the application developer, the presence of the ARC restart call will convert the DB2 commit calls into ARC checkpoint calls. This, in effect, will expand the scope of the hard-coded DB2 commit calls as ARC will process the non-DB2 components of the application checkpoint in addition to the usual processing performed by the DB2 commit. In this example, the ARC restart call has been inserted as a first statement of the program logic. It is identifying a small subset of the working storage as shown in the small rectangle. This storage will be captured using each checkpoint and restored as of the most recent checkpoint during a restart. Some programs need to do special processing when they are being restarted. This special processing can be initiated by testing the value of checkpoint ID for a value of anything other than spaces. In this example, the program merely issues a message indicating that the program is being restarted. So long as the commit calls are issued at a logical point within the program flow, the logic to execute the commit should be able to remain untouched. Now, let's take our first look at the automatic checkpoint or automatic XRST functionality provided by ARC. Here is the same program from the previous slide. However, this time the application developer will choose to insert the ARC restart call dynamically. This will minimize the required code changes. The dynamic ARC restart call is controlled by the auto restart option provided by ARC. It simply means insert the ARC restart call. Within ARC, the ARC restart call is called the restart call, hence the name auto restart. Auto restart and its companion feature auto checkpoint are supported by COBOL programs only. These features are not applicable to PLI or assembler based applications. 
the actual placement of the call will be immediately before the first instruction of the procedure division. The dynamic XRST call will function similar to the previously described hard-coded ARC restart call, except the entire contents of working storage will be captured at each checkpoint. Additionally, if the program needs to do specialized processing for a restart, a predefined value can be inserted into the COBOL reserved word return code. In most cases, the dynamic call options of auto restart and auto checkpoint are inserted via keywords in the ARC sysin DD as shown in the example on the right. In this example, auto restart keyword will insert the dynamic ARC restart call. The auto restart return code keyword has instructed ARC to insert a value of 3694 into the COBOL reserved word return code. The program should immediately test return code for the designated keyword to determine if the program is being restarted. Here the program is only issuing a message to indicate a restart is being processed. In summary, Programs that already have DB2 commits can be quickly converted to run under ARC. You have seen that ARC will expand the individual DB2 commits into ARC checkpoint calls so that the programs can be restarted. We have discussed the placement of the ARC restart call. There are two options available for this call. Either code the ARC restart call into the program or dynamically insert it via the auto restart keyword. This concludes the topic on ARC support of DB2 commit calls. For more information, please visit www.bmc.com.